everyone, I'm Chef Mom Rosebud, and before I start cooking for you today, meron muna akong gustong i-share sa inyo because a couple of months ago, I decided to have a kitchen makeover or kitchen renovation. Siyempre, bilang isang chef and also as a mom, I feel na dapat maganda at maayos yung kusina ko because mas magiging masarap at mas nakaka-inspire magluto para sa pamilya pag maganda yung kusina. This being an old house, medyo old na yung design, medyo masikip, medyo madilim. So I decided na ipagawa ito and I want to show videos and pictures to all of you para makita niyo what transpired during the past couple of months. Tiling na flooring ng kitchen. Medyo nagubuon din ang mga cabinets. Before, yung kitchen window used to be made of jealousy. So, pinapalitan na rin. Tiling windows na siya. So, dun ilalagay yung stove top. And, minuksan nila ngayon yung ceiling. Kasi dun ilalabas yung exhaust. Medyo mas kompleto na yung tiles. Hindi pa pwede yung tapakan dun sa may bandang papunta ng CR. So, kanina, ang ginawa ng mga workers, in-adjust nila yung size nito because dumating na yung granite yesterday and nung pagpatong nila, sadly, hindi ka siya. Masyadong malaki yung table. So, they had to adjust this. Nag-boss lang naman sila ng kote. They had to trim lang the sides. I'm excited to show it to all of you. Gusto ko na i-share yung excitement ko kasi talaga namang ang tagal ko rin inisip kung paano ko papagawa yung kusina. And now... So for today, I'll be making a classic recipe, pero gagawin ko siya ng konting twist or I'll be doing a makeover. Parang yung kusina ko lang, nagkaroon ng kitchen makeover. So ito classic dish na to will also have a makeover. And this dish is called chicken adobo burrito. So let me first give you the ingredients for the chicken adobo burrito. So of course, we need oil, we need garlic, chicken fillet, soy sauce, vinegar, laurel or bay leaf, at lalagyan ko ng gata or coconut cream. Meron din tayong siling, pansigang. At ang ingredient na gustong-gusto ng nanay kung nilalagay sa lahat ng mga recipe niya, ang liver spread. So, let's start cooking. Low to medium heat, let's add our oil. We will now be adding the garlic. So, we'll just saute this. And then we have here our chicken fillet. So, hindi ako gumamit ng ibang meat, chicken fillet lang, chicken breast, because this cooks faster as compared to the red meat. So, lagay lang natin siya sa ating pan. Be careful when you cook chicken breast. You always have to have the right temperature and the right cooking time. Kasi, if you overcook it, talagang nawawala yung pagiging juicy ng ating chicken breast. There you go. So, we'll just let this cook until mag-change yung color niya. Let's turn it to the other side. Tsaka isa ring tip, para mas mabilis kayong makapagluto, you slice your meat into smaller portions or smaller pieces. Pag medyo nakita ko na nag-change na yung color niya, I will just cook this for a few more minutes. And then I will set this aside when I make the sauce. Para lang hindi siya ma-overcook with the sauce. And then I will just return it to the pan later. So this is cooked already. Ayan o. Kita nyo kanina from yung color niya na pinkish and opaque. Ngayon nag-white na siya. 
So I don't want to overcook this, like I mentioned. So I will just get this from the pan. And then, adobo dish, of course, you need your soy sauce. So ingat lang, lagay natin dahan-dahan na ating soy sauce. Okay, so we added the soy sauce and then we're now going to add our vinegar. Pag nilagay mo na yung, yung vinegar, make sure na huwag niyong hahaluin. Let it cook first kasi pag hinalo niyo yung vinegar, nang hindi pa siya luto, mahihilaw siya. So hindi lalabas yung tamang lasa ng ating vinegar. Hayaan lang muna natin siyang mag-simmer ng konti. So depende rin yung amount ng vinegar na ilalagay niyo kasi merong mga iba na ang gusto nila sa kanilang adobo medyo tuyo. Meron ding mas gusto nila na mas malasa yung soy sauce. Meron naman yung iba mas gusto nila yung mas malasa yung vinegar. I personally like na nalalasahan ko talaga yung vinegar. Hindi ko sa mga maasim talaga na flavor. Okay, so at this point nagsisimmer na yung ating adobo sauce. Lagyan na natin ng dahon ng laurel. Alam mo some people would say na parang Hindi nila maintindihan bakit daw may laurel pa. Pero it really makes a lot of difference. Try nyo mag-adobo ng walang laurel. May kulang eh. Alam nyo yung parang hindi nyo naman napapansin yung ingredient na yan. Pero pag wala siya, manonotice nyo na, ah, oo nga no, kasi wala siyang, walang dahon ng laurel. So it's really very important. So at this point, pwede nating haluin. Coconut cream. You could buy this in the grocery. Meron mga nakatetra pa. Pwede kayong bumili sa market and bumili kayo ng fresh na pinipiga sa palengke. Mas malasa yun. Pero yun lang, if you buy it this morning or today, you have to use it right away or else it will spoil. So let's now add our coconut cream. There you go. So, hindi lang siya mag add ng different dimension to the taste. It also acts as a thickener to your sauce. At dahil mahilig ako sa manghang, lalagyan ko siya ng siling pansigang. So, another tip for you moms who are watching, para hindi masyadong maanghang or mabawasan yung pagkaanghang ng inyong sili, you take out the white part and the seed. Kasi yun talaga yung nag-add ng heat sa ating sili. So, if you want to lessen it or control the heat, yan, just take out the seed. Like I mentioned earlier, Ito yung favorite na ingredient na laging nilalagay ng mom ko sa lahat ng dishes niya. Ang liver spread. So, it will also add a different flavor to your dish. And at the same time, act as a thickener as well. Ay, tumapo. So, we want sana na medyo thick yung sauce natin. Because I'll be adding this to the rice later. So, I can now put the chicken pieces inside. Para naman ma-absorb niya. yung lasa ng ating sauce and ay nagulog buhay. And at the same time, talagang mas lumasa pa at maluto yung ating mano kasi kanina naman, iba parang niluto ko lang yung labas. So, this will cook it some more. So, we'll just let this simmer for mga roughly around 3 to 4 minutes. So, habang pinapasimmer pa natin yung ating chicken adobo sa kanyang sauce, I prepared the ingredients for our burrito. So, what we need is, ayan, meron tayo ditong tortilla. Pwede kayo gumamit ng flour tortilla, corn tortilla, or wheat tortilla. And then, I also have here rice kasi kailangan natin ng kanin. Dahil tayo mga Pinoy, mahilig talaga sa kanin. And this is a burrito dish, so importanteng merong kanin. We also have here bell peppers. So, meron akong yellow bell pepper, green bell pepper, and red bell pepper. So, medyo matamis, medyo merong konting tangy flavor. And this is also, of course, packed with vitamin C. And then, we have here some grated... Quick melting cheese, romaine lettuce, and we have sour cream as dip. So, bago natin i-arrange yung ating burrito, kuha muna ako ng chicken. And then, what I'm gonna do here is, I'm just gonna slice this or chop this or flake it. Kasi parang ito yung meat ng ating burrito. For the rice, we need some of the adobo sauce. So, kukuha muna ako ng... Clean spoon and get sauce from the adobo. Okay, so nilagay ko na ngayon yung adobo sauce into the rice and just make sure that you mix it properly para lahat ng ating kanin ay merong sauce, ba? Diba? So make sure lang na when you use your tortilla, don't leave it out ng matagal in room temperature kasi tumitiga siya. So make sure na nasa ref muna siya before you use it 
and just bring it out pag gagamitin mo na. Or what you can do is, if it's on a plate, cover it with damp towel just to make sure na hindi siya magda-dry out. Kailangan natin siyang lagyan ng lettuce dito sa ating tortilla. So, ang ginagamit ko is romaine lettuce as compared to iceberg kasi yung iceberg medyo pabilog. Eh, tortilla to. So, mas magandang, medyo straight siya. Para lang mas madaling i-plate. And then, we have here our adobo rice. Lalagay natin ngayon to sa gitna. Like how you would prepare your burrito. Doon sa mga nagda-diet, kung ayaw nyo ng kanin, pero weird kasi na adobo na walang kanin eh. <laughs> pero pwede rin naman kayo gumapat, gumamit ng lettuce leaves. Yun na gamitin nyo na lang. Usually, if I watch my carb intake, hindi ako nag-rice sa burrito, nire-replace ko lang siya with lettuce leaves. Shredded lettuce leaves. And then you have your chicken. Let's put it on top. And then, lagyan natin ng mga makulay na bell peppers. Like I mentioned earlier, bell peppers are actually very rich in vitamin C. It's even richer in vitamin C as compared to your oranges. So, this is not just for presentation purposes. And then, I have here, ito na yung aking quick melting cheese. So we'll place this on top, and then we will fold this. So how you fold it is, you fold it in the at the bottom part first, and then overlap on top. So busog na busog talaga to, de ba? And then. You could also fold the top, pero kung halimbawa hindi ma-fold, pwede rin naman. So, we'll just secure this with a toothpick para hindi siya bumuka when I place it in the oven. Hi, Kay! Okay. So, lalagay ko na ito sa oven and just let this toast for around 2 to 3 minutes until the cheese melts and the tortilla medyo mag-turn brown. Okay, so let's open the oven. Lagay lang natin hanggang matos lang ng konti yung tortilla wrapper and mag-melt yung cheese. So, mga 2 to 3 minutes. Balikan natin yan. Okay, so pwede na yung ating burrito. Nag-brown na yung ating tortilla. So, just be careful in getting it. There you go. Ready na ako i-plate. Okay, so I'm just putting some aluminum foil dito sa ating adobo, chicken adobo burrito para it's easier to handle. And we serve this with some sour cream dip. Ito lang natin, ha? There you go. And we have another recipe done. Isang classic reinvented dish, ang aking chicken adobo burrito. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you again next time!